Serious? We said eight. I've been waiting for you for 30 minutes. Come on. You're just the guy I was looking for. Tell us your uh, infamous nickname. Oh, come on. Don't make me say it. World Tour Tom. If you know how to read, you've picked up that this is where we get food. What's so great about breakfast on the Free Eye World Tour is that you always like get to meet new people. Who are you again? Uh, I'm Michael. Who, who are you? I'm Elizabeth. So Michael, I never watched snowboarders. I don't really care. So uh, how was your run? It was pretty good. Pretty good. Stayed on my feet. Yeah, ended up fifth. Oh, so you didn't win? Yeah, no, no. Quite far from winning. <laughs> All morning I was like, ah, oh, I have like really good choice of words. Like I could be a commentator. You should be. Yeah. yeah. It would be a big step up from what we've got now. Drew? 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 Drew, I finally find you. As a post-boomer writer, how do you feel about the new generation? Oh, the new generation doesn't have any respect, and I'm uh, not that into it, actually. It's pretty nice to get free Audis and stuff, but, like, maybe we could do something about that. Do you have anything interesting to say? Yeah, I mean, like, skiing is something for a bunch of adrenaline-addicted nerds that can't do anything else with their life, so, you know, we hang out in a group here together and convince each other it's okay to not have a real job. Hi, uh, Vadek. How are you? Good and you? Yeah, I'm good. Where are you going? I go to ski. I go to a big training backcountry for the next uh, next competition. Are you gonna land in a tree? There are no tree in this resort. It's oh, so yeah, cool. That's pretty good for you. So yeah. you have an advantage. So, I, I need to training for 360. I could teach you if you want. Oh yeah, good. yeah, good yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Do you spin? We have one ski or two ski. <laughs> Bye. This is the riders' lounge. This is where the riders. Lounge. Is that a verb? Ah, Juliet, I was looking for you everywhere. Finally, I find you. I think I'm stretching in yoga because I saw people doing it and they're better than me. Are you talking about like Hedvig, who's like a really good yogi and like always beating both of us? Yeah, so I think we have to keep up. So we have to, to take an example. So I'm doing yoga now. That's pretty good. Ooh, wow. I've just come across another writer, Clara McGregor. I've just been meditating all morning and uh, Trying to get in the zone. It kind of sounds like you're trying to copy Marion. Am I am I wrong? Okay, you got me. I've been watching everything she does to try and be exactly like her. If you were Marion, you would probably be like jogging or like like actually stretching or like doing something productive. Three, and become the best. Uh, what's going on here, Nils? Uh, as you can see, we got a very exciting morning on our hands. Expense reports and listening to the news. Is that English for tax fraud? No, no, not at all. Okay. No idea what you're talking about. Okay. But I love where your head's at. That's a great question. <laughs> Keep asking those questions. Don't stop. <laughs> <Get out. laughs> How do you feel about your podium yesterday? I'm not, not happy about it. Uh, what did you do differently? I mean, probably like last year, I was like just, I was so nervous last year. I'm just like, all I was thinking about is staying in the cut. Yeah. And then this year, I kind of like changed up my mentality a bit. Like, and it's like more try to go for the win instead of like playing it too safe. So. Wow, this was a very serious answer. It's hard to... Uh... Yeah. Do you like other dried fruits or do you hate all dried fruits? Last but not least, this is my bedroom. Hey, yo, 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 no, that's my private sphere. Like the interview is over now. I'm just going to go get ready and, uh, and go ride. <laughs>